Good morning and happy Monday, Plainsman and Lady Plainsman Nation. Mr. Lee here gonna talk to you about um, being the bird, soaring, flying, migrating, and flourishing in this COVID social distancing academic environment. Now, you might be thinking, how are we gonna tie birds into this? Um, but give me a shot. Let me see if this makes some sense. Well, first off this weekend, I've spoke about the importance of just getting outside, being in nature, just rebooting for your mind, body, and spirit. So I went out to the Hutton Lake National Wildlife Refuge. And I gotta tell you, it's about a 20 minute drive, probably from your house, and it is a fascinating place. All kinds of chirping and flapping going on out there, and it is just a fascinating, delightful place to be. Now, when you're out there, you're gonna see amazing birds like the American Avocet, the yellow-headed blackbird, graves, pelicans, killdeers, ruddy ducks, they're just fascinating, fascinating critters. And like us, we're all different. Um, but what sets all of these birds um, apart is also something that just makes them pretty unique too, is they're all migrating. They're all migrating from different parts of the world, from different parts of the country in order to be successful. So they've all accumulated here and I'm sure they're sharing some chirps and some calls just to make sure that they know just kind of where they've been and where they're going. But one bird I wanna spend a little time talking about is a pretty regal raptor, the Swainson's hawk. Now, the interesting thing about the Swainson's hawk, and I saw one out there the other day, is this bird has a 7,000 plus mile migration that it goes through every year. From the Patagonia of Argentina, all the way up to the plains of Manitoba, Canada. And one of the things is, it had a stop over here in Albany County, therefore allowing me to see it. But most importantly, if you think about a 7,000 plus mile journey, you gotta have a little bit of gumption and you gotta have some perseverance. And that is the message today, perseverance. It is a steady persistence and a course of action, a purpose, a state, especially in spite of difficulties, obstacles, and discouragement. Wow. You think about where we're at right now in all of our lives, we're probably struggling in certain areas, uh, maybe more so in other areas, but the reality is it's real. The other reality is we're gonna get through this if we choose to, and we're also gonna get through it even if we don't choose to. But most importantly is the lessons that we're gonna learn through this and the character that we build if we choose to persevere. So. This morning I was walking my dog Koki here. We came across this cottonwood that had obviously been nibbled on by a beaver. So I said, Koki, you should try to nibble on this tree. And of course, the dog doesn't really understand my English. So as you can see, the dog just sat there by the tree saying like, what are you doing, silly man? And the reason I bring this up is none of our faculty has tasked you with any academic assignment that you cannot be successful with and that you cannot complete. So what does that mean? Our faculty has given you assignments, tests, quizzes that you are going to be successful in if you choose to do so, okay? So how do you do that? Well, a couple things. In order to fly, you gotta first get up. Get up with the mindset to be motivated today. That means probably not sleeping until noon and staying up way late watching TikTok and YouTube videos but you gotta get up and know that today is a day to be motivated to get tasks and assignments done. You have to set your schedule. One day if it's nine in the morning, and the next day if it's 9 p.m., you know, it makes it really tough to get on that schedule to be successful, okay? Make sure you're doing that. Timeline, this is also important. There's only like three weeks of school left. May 28th, all right? So don't wait till May 27th to try to set up a schedule and a timeline. It's gonna to be too late. Start it today, you still have time. Three, three weeks is still a long time to be successful. Get on that schedule, set up that timeline. The other thing, understand that everybody's in this and everybody has struggled at some point. I'd be lying to you if I said that I haven't struggled through this pandemic, right? So with that being said, reach out to your peers, to your families, to your faculty, to your counselors and know that everybody is struggling. And again, how we get through this is either gonna see this struggle as something that was, oh, so terribly difficult, or it's something that I actually 
found out something about my character. I found some gumption. I found some perseverance and some resilience, and I did good things. Request help. Now, this is an interesting one. Even as late as last week, I was talking with students who were struggling in classes and hadn't even reached out to their teachers yet. That's mind boggling to me. Teachers want to hear from you. Counselors want to hear from you. Make sure that you are requesting information from them. That could be a simple email to get started. And then I've set up Zoom calls. I've called individuals. It's just a matter of you got to request that help. The last one, the most important one, don't give up. I've talked to some students who are on teetering on that edge of giving up, but you just have to realize you can get through this. Okay. You're either going to let this happen to you or you're going to learn something and make sure that you're setting the limits on what you can do. And the sky, much like it is for the Swainson's Hawk, can be a limitless place that you get to soar 7,000 plus miles, do amazing things this summer or at that next step of your life, but you have to be the one that isn't setting limits that keep you stuck and keep you grounded, but you set limits that allow you to fly and do amazing things. So I feel pretty good about you know, making sure I brought this all back into the bird um, world, but um, in all actuality, please reach out to your counselors if you need help with any of that from motivation to timelines to dedication to success, okay? Everyone, have a great day.